Julia was a clever girl. Julia knew she was smart. She was one of those clever children, the kind of child who figures out early on that parents aren't all powerful and all knowing. The first time she realized this was when she got scared. There had been a noise in her room coming from under the bed or from the closet. Julia ran down the hall crying, Mommy, Daddy, what's wrong, honey? I, uh, heard a monster, Julia glubbed. She expected them to comfort her or roll their eyes or get annoyed. Instead, they jumped up immediately and raced to her bedroom, where they checked under the bed, inspecting the closet, and tested the window's lock. They poked, prodded, and scoured every inch. Julia caught on quickly. She knew what they were doing. By taking her fear seriously, they were showing her little girl that she was safe and loved. They had probably read about it in some book. But the lesson Julia learned was that she had power. Thereafter, waking her parents became a nightly event. Julia would scream and cry, they would rush to her bedroom, and Julia would hide her grin behind tears, but not once did they ever complain. One night, she couldn't stand it any longer and burst out laughing when Daddy fell down while examining the light fixture, as if a monster could fit up there. What's so funny? he asked, rubbing his backside. You, Julia smirked, you always believe me. Daddy wasn't angry, he just looked at Mommy. Once, he said quietly, just once, we didn't believe your brother. And Julia, an only child, did not sleep well that night.